are gathered in the sight of God and in the presence of this company to join together this man and this woman in holy matrimony. The Bible teaches us that marriage is a holy institution established in heaven by the divine wisdom and likeness of God who said it is not good that man should be alone. I will make him and help me for him and who again said they too shall be one. In creation, Adam the man was first formed, then woman, Eve, say the scriptures, that the woman might be for the man, setting forth the humility, modesty, and gentleness that should characterize her kind. Yet man, in being made last of all of God's creatures, was set forth as the best and most excellent of all God's creative works. So Eve's being made after Adam and out of him sends an honor upon the woman as being the glory of man. The man is the head, she is the crown, a crown to her husband. The man was dust refined, but the woman was doubly refined, one step further from the earth. In being created from man or out of man, she was not out of his head to dominate or to be over him, nor out of his feet to be under him or trampled upon by him, but out of his side, to come alongside him and help him. Let us pray. Father, we give thanks and we give praise to you for this union between Josh and Wendy. And we ask that your hand would be upon them mightily, that their union as husband and wife would be strong. Father, we ask that you bless them with children, that they would be able to build a home, that you would do a great work through them in the years ahead. You see the condition of family in America. And Lord, those who love you, Lord, need to do right by you as man, as woman, as husband, as wife, as father, as mother. And I pray that Josh and Wendy are able to exemplify that and be a blessing to others in their marriages and in their building of homes with them. Lord, we ask and pray that lives and through their union as husband and wife. And we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So to the man, Josh, and you can simply answer, I will. I think that's how you're going to answer. Wilt thou have this woman to be thy wedded wife, to live together after God's holy ordinance, in the holy estate of matrimony? Wilt thou love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health and forsaking all others keep ye only unto her so long as ye both shall live I will and Wendy wilt thou have this man to be thy wedded husband to live together after God's holy ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony wilt thou love him honor and keep him in sickness and in health and forsaking all others keep ye only unto him so long as you both shall live. So, so now we'll do the vows. And um, Josh, if you could repeat after me, that would be a good thing. Okay. You can hold hands at this point. Somebody want to come take the flowers? Those. Yeah. And what's Wendy's last name? Uh, I expected that to have. and repeat after me. I, Josh Caulfield. I, Josh Caulfield. Take thee, Wendy Moshes. Take thee, Wendy Moshes. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse. For better or for worse. For richer, for poorer. For rich or for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. According to God's holy ordinance. According to God's holy ordinance. And thereto. And thereto. I plight thee my troth. I plight thee my troth. Okay. Here 
trough is your goodness, you know, in your theology, in your faith. So, um, so Wendy, we're already holding hands. If you could repeat after me, I, Wendy Masha. I, Wendy Masha. Take thee, Joshua Caulfield. Take thee, Joshua Caulfield. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer, for poor. In sickness and in health. In, in sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. According to God's holy ordinance. According to God's holy ordinance. And thereto. And thereto. I plight thee my troth. I plight thee my troth. I do. For your bride. If you would take it out and place it on yeah, her right. finger and then hold her hand and then repeat after me. Excellent. If you could hold her hand and then with this ring, you, you say this. Okay. <laughs> with this ring. I do thee wed. I do thee wed. And with all my worldly goods. And with all my worldly goods. I thee endow. I thee endow. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Now let me speak to your hearts. I charge you both as you hope for happiness in your married life to be true to these vows that you made to each other this day. With your marriage in this day, you begin life anew with larger responsibilities. Josh, guard well this your bride, who now commits herself unto your keeping, and strive so to live in the Lord that no word or deed of yours shall cloud her brow with grief or dim her eyes with tears. And Wendy, it will be your part to strive to retain by your virtues the heart you have won to both, I would say, let not your voices lose the tender tones of affection, nor your eyes forget the tender ray with which they shone in courtship's day. And greatest of all, let God be enthroned above all else at all times. And now, having heard you make these vows of your affection and these pledges of fidelity, I now pronounce you husband and wife no longer two, but now one, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Josh, you may now kiss your bride. <laughs> I now pronounce to you Mr. and Mrs. Josh Coffin. Thank you. So, congratulations. Thank you, Pastor.